can you at least say it was a heated argument or something? Because you making this man sound super crazy. Like, he shot you for no reason. Two celebrities and another celebrity shot you for no reason. What's good, Sylvie Gang? Back here with another reaction video. And as you see, I have a brand new mic. And yeah, we're going to use it. And today we're going to be uh, reacting to the Megan the Stallion finally came out and said that Tory Lane shot her. We all knew it. We all knew it. I knew at least. I knew Tory Lane's probably shot her, but she just didn't say it. And to be honest, I'm going to watch it. I, I feel like she's, there's no doubt about it. Tory Lane shot her, but the reasoning behind it is still a mystery. She didn't really explain it. She says there's no reason. But if you listen to her story and if you listen to what she said before in her first Instagram live, some may add up. So we're going to go ahead and watch it and then I'm going to uh, give my feedback and my input on it. Now. You know, it's a reaction. You guys already know what to do. Let's get into the video. So we gain, we finna blow out, yeah. So we gain, we finna close out, yeah. So we gain, yeah, we finna blow out. I'm so over this shit. And y'all gotta know, I am the, I'm the biggest Tory Lanez fan in the world. I'm sorry, I just got I'm trying to get to the meat. But I'm not gonna let y'all keep playing in my face. And I'm not gonna let this nigga keep playing in my face either. So, since y'all hold so worried about it, yes, this nigga Tory shot me. Oop! Cats out the bag. You shot me. And you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs. Lying and shit. Stop lying. Why lie? I don't understand. I tried to keep the situation off the internet, but you dragging it. Y'all celebrities, and I mean, the first day it came out on the internet, so I ain't really. Oh, you know what? I just realized she's rocking the Goku sweater. Hey. She got the Goku sweater on. I just now noticed that. Eve, shouts out to her, man. You know what I'm saying? Goku the main, man. Anime. I got Goku right here, dog. Little Goku. I'm too black. You might not be able to see it, but you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I ain't even, I can't even finish what I was about to say about it just because I noticed she had the Goku shirt. Okay, now this is where I kind of, we're going to keep watching. I'm not going to speak on it till towards the end or till she says something. Just just wait. Just listen to what she's saying right here. She got out of the car. Shoot me. I ain't get cut by no glass, but let me tell you why they shooting me in the way. This nigga from out the backseat of the car started shooting me. You shot me. I ain't get cut by no glass, but let me tell you why they saying that. When the, when the police, because the people in the neighborhood, there's a witness. When the police came, because the, the neighbors called the police, this did not happen at Kylie House. This happened damn near back at the house I was staying at. I was just trying to get home. We was five minutes away from my spot. The police come. I'm scared. All this shit. And just FYI, the police think that there was glass on her foot because that's what she told them. Going on with the police? The police is, is shooting motherfuckers for anything. The police was literally killing black people for no motherfucking reason. Soon as the police tell us, I'll oh, get out the motherfucking car, the police is really aggressive. You think I'm a 
This is facts. Police are definitely very aggressive, and I definitely feel they're very aggressive towards black people. But it's kind of weird how, I don't know. I don't know if I can, I don't even know how to explain it, but, like, she protected this man even after he shot him or she or after he shot her which is which is pretty strange to me and another thing that doesn't really um add up is that she was already out of the car when she got shot so when the police arrived was she back in the car I'm kind of confused about that I can tell the police that we niggas us black people got a gun in the car you want me to tell them all that we got a gun in the car so they can shoot all of us up? Facts. Facts. Even when I get pulled over, even for a simple traffic stop, I put my hands out the window. I'm not going to lie because I don't want these motherfuckers thinking I got a gun or thinking that there's any reason for them to pull a gun out on me. Because I've seen it happen to people. I've heard about it happening to people. It didn't specifically happen to me, but, you know, I don't want it to. But see, this is this is what like what I said before. This is what I'm confused about. When the police arrived, you was in the car. Is that what you're saying? So after the nigga shot you, you got back in the car. And mind you, your homegirl is there. I'm not really understanding how. I would I, what? What? Over me and and uh, record my feet leaking blood. No, how the fuck I'm gonna fake that? I didn't tell the police nothing because I didn't want us to get in no more trouble than what we was already about to get in. But you the victim. You wasn't about to get in trouble. You only, basically, the only trouble you was going to get into was, I guess, what's happening with you now on social media. But as far as legal trouble, why would you feel scared if you the one that got shot? See, that already tells me something right there that there's probably something more to the story that she ain't telling you. Which is not justifiable that this nigga shot her. But I'm just saying, I don't feel like we hearing the whole story, though. So I ain't about to, you know. Tory Lanez is still a bitch for shooting a woman, but I don't know what happened beforehand, you know what I'm saying, to cause that. Because what would cause somebody to shoot you in the foot? They both celebrities. They both got money. They both got careers. And they end up in something like this. This is like the weirdest shit I ever heard. The fuck? I'll get to the motherfucking hospital and they gonna tell me that I so rude to me. Well, what, you know, what's going on? Like, da 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 da. You're being detained, da da da. I'm, ma'am, I'm being detained, I'm leaking, but I'm still not seeing what happened. Right, but that's how they do, black folks. You could be injured, you could be whatever. They're gonna put their foot on your neck, all that shit to detain you. Even if you corrupt, corroborating, even if you're corroborating. They still might fuck you up just because she feeling some type of way that day. And that's what's crazy about being a police officer. They could come to work in a bad mood and take it out on a, on a citizen or a person that they're pulling over or possibly maybe committing a crime. And he might take it to the next level just because he's having a bad day. And that's another reason why, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's finicky being a cop, definitely. Especially when it's uh, that gray area between good cops and bad cops. So she explained earlier that it was just Tory Tory Lanez herself, Tory Lanez security, and her friend in the car. So why did all three of them go to jail? Was it because nobody snitched on whose gun it was and they all had to go to jail? But then Tory Lanez ended up taking the possession charge. So why did all of them go to jail? Maybe he didn't like explain it right there and right then and there when they all had got arrested. But that's kind of weird that all three of them went to jail though. Like, you know, I feel like something more happened in that car, but you'll never know. We wasn't there, and I haven't seen no type of video footage. Oh, man, you got uh, bullets in your feet, got bully fragments in your other foot. I'm damn, I'm thinking the doctors is the police, so I'm still trying not to tell them, like, no, nah, I, I didn't know I got, you know what I'm saying? I'm scared. Like, I've never been shot before. I don't have to lie about that. Why would I lie? You want me to be a bad person? 
person so bad and y'all motherfuckers want to believe the lie before you believe the truth. Stop trying to come on the internet acting like a black woman, a, a grown ass black woman. And what's crazy is what she's referring to as a lie is basically that people are starting rumors and having allegations about what happened to cause the shooting. So really, at the end of the day, it doesn't take away from the fact that you were shot. It's just the fact that people are saying all this and that, which honestly shouldn't really even matter because you know what happened. But you're not telling us what happened, beating around the bush, which is why people are making all these speculations. So, you know what I'm saying? You're saying he did it for no reason. There's got to be more to the story than that. There's no way. Really got any reason to be lying on another grown-ass black man when all the shit fucked up going on in the world right now. If you really want to tell the motherfucking truth, I've tried to save this nigga. Even though he's facts, me, facts. I'm to spare him. Facts, and facts. motherfuckers is not sparing me. That's crazy. And this is what's kind of sad about the whole situation is that she did try to save this man's career. She did try to save face for this nigga. And she tried to keep him out of jail, out of the system. By not, you know, he would have caught a whole nother type of charge, man. That's like, that might be attempted murder or some shit. Even though he shot her in the foot, but she never know. Bullets ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? You shoot it, you might be aiming somewhere, might bounce off, ricochet, you know what I'm saying? You never know. Could have killed her, literally. It, it hit her in the foot, but he could have killed her. And that's, if a shot is fired, you could die. It's point blank, period. And no, no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But she did try to save this nigga, which is very weird to me. I'm not really understanding why she did that. But, hey, black women stand up for their black men, I guess. I don't know. That's fucked up. I go through so much shit on a daily basis anyway. Then I have to get on the motherfucking internet where I'm just trying to make my music, do my shit, pop my shit like, like the bitch I always been. And I, I try to save niggas. And y'all on the internet talking about, oh, bitch, you ain't get shot. Oh, bitch, you this. Oh, free talk. That nigga not in jail. And that's another thing. Tory Lanez has been M I fucking A. I don't see nothing on Instagram, social media, DJ Academics ain't posting nothing about him. Like he is gone completely silent. So you know there's gotta be something more to the story than what's actually going on. Cause ain't nobody really talking. And oops, and uh Megan Thee Stallion ain't really giving out too much information. She's saying, you know, she's saying what we already knew and what we already assumed. We had to have known that Tory Lane shot her. It was either between Tory Lanez and a security guard, and clearly she's claiming or she's saying Tory Lane shot her, so Tory Lane's definitely shot her. You know, I don't think it was her friend or the security guard, so that's already out the way. But what we don't understand is why a man of that stature, not saying that she ain't even of the same stature or even higher, but why would these two people be in such a situation where somebody would get shot? Don't make sense. Am I right? Comment down below if you if you agree with me. But anyways, I'm going to watch a couple more minutes of this. Probably going to end it because I don't think she's going to be talking about nothing else, but we're going to see. I'm smart. I didn't have to spare that nigga. I don't have to spare nobody, but I did. And I'm see, was this smart to spare the nigga, though? Because now you're dealing with all the consequences behind that shit. Or I guess the backlash, I should say, which honestly, just stay off the Internet. You making a stallion. It'll pass over. I mean, it's already crazy. Enough, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she should do. I don't know if it was smart for her not to say something or if it would have been smarter for her just to be like, this nigga shot me to the police right away. At the end of the day, the police is going to find out you got bullets in your foot. It's not even snitching. Like, by the time you go to the hospital, they it's already a fact. It's known you got shot. So, I don't know. Comment down below what you think she should have did. Did she do the right thing or should she have already just told what had happened type of thing? Done. Y'all asking where, where people at? Why ain't nobody saying nothing? Ask them why they not saying nothing. I haven't talked to the same people. Y'all worry about where they at. I don't do, I don't lie. I don't lie. I don't have to lie. Ask that nigga why he not saying nothing. What the fuck he gonna get on here and say? Y'all shot her. Why? Tell him why you shot me. No reason. Stop fucking lying on me. Can you at least say it was a heated argument or something? Because you making this man sound super crazy. Like, he shot you for no reason. 
two celebrities and another celebrity shot you for no reason. I don't know. If he did, man, I'm sorry for even saying, I guess, all this. But I don't think I'm saying nothing too crazy. I'm not saying that, you know, she's straight lying. I just don't think she's telling the full truth. You feel me? I'm, I'm definitely positive Tory Lane shot her. I just don't know why. Stop fucking acting like black women is the motherfucking problem. Motherfuckers can't handle it. Stop stop spreading lies. Stop getting on the internet acting like playing on people. Truth motherfucking is, bitch. You shot me. You scared to come tell everybody that you fucking shot me. And you got your whole fucking team on the internet lying. Trying to cover your motherfucking ass. And I'm tired of it. Stop doing that shit. Stop dragging me and y'all motherfuckers don't even know what was what really motherfucking happened. Y'all niggas wasn't there. Facts. Y'all motherfuckers be so quick. Oh, but uh, bitch, you a dry snitch. Oh, da da da. Who? You niggas. Hey, I, I can't even call her a snitch, bro. Like, the nigga shot her. And she still didn't even tell right away. You know what I'm saying? Even though she knew once she got to the hospital, them niggas was going to know she got shot. So, I don't know why people calling her a snitch or saying she dry snitching. Like, how the fuck you going to avoid, like, you got shot. Like, what the hell? Like, I can't even think of a situation that I'm not really going to get into. Because that's, you know, my own personal business. But I I was, a, uh, I remember um, somebody had went to the hospital for a stab wound. And he didn't want to say who did it. And the actual doctors forced him to tell and the person who actually ended up stabbing him actually was arrested. So, it's you know, once you get in that situation where um, somebody has physically harmed you and you got to go to the hospital, it's damn near inevitable. Like, they're going to figure out what's going on or they're going to figure out that it wasn't a self-inflicted wound or you failed type of shit. Especially if you got shot or stabbed. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to figure out, like, okay, this was some domestic violence type of shit. So... Is it really snitching? I guess, bro. But this whole snitch shit is just weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're involved in a, in, a, in a crime or if you guys are about to plan to do some shit together and you guys get caught and then you snitch on them, that's some whole ass shit right there. But, like, man, you get, man, come on, man. You can't, you can't call snitching for everything, man. Talk more than bitches do. You niggas gonna tell on other people quicker than a bitch will. So don't ever play in my face like 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 I'm wrong. Y'all niggas don't know no code. Y'all niggas don't know no loyalty. I don't even know where half you motherfuckers be from on the internet. Stop playing with me and don't play in my face no more. And that's about the end of this video, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the whole situation. And uh, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow in the next one. So we gang, we finna close out, yeah. So we gang, yeah, we finna blow out, yeah. So we gang, yeah, we finna close out, yeah. Making all these YouTube videos, yeah. You